Oh, holy crap! Jeez. Alright, so this is not a really family friendly game. <laughs> Today we're diving into the world of virtual reality and shedding light on the distinctive realm of mixed reality all through the lens of the groundbreaking Meta Quest 3. Let's unravel the magic behind the headset. Welcome to another episode of Mr. Code Steam Podcast. Now, I've always been a fan of wearing technology on my face. I was one of the very first people in the world to develop apps for Google Glass, as well as testing for Microsoft's HoloLens program. But most importantly, I love playing video games, which is why the MetaQuest 3 really stood out for me. Now, the concept of VR traces back to the mid 20th century with the pioneers envisioning a world that had simulated environments that transcended reality. So I've got a joystick, so. I've got a helmet, that's right, and you just put the helmet on like that, right. and of course you see that you have a gun in your hand, and to fire the gun, you simply press the trigger. And I'll uh, get in and join you. Okay, come into my world, John. Over the decades, technological advancements have catapulted VR from science fiction into our daily lives. Today, VR technologies like this MetaQuest 3 utilize high-resolution displays, intricate tracking systems, and interactive controllers to create an immersive experience. As users explore these digital realms, the headsets adapt to their movements, providing an illusion of presence in a computer-generated environment. So here I have the MetaQuest 3, which is one of the latest virtual reality and mixed reality headsets. Now, the key thing that makes uh, virtual reality possible is the fact that we have two separate lenses inside uh, that have uh, slightly differing images feeding into your left eye and the right eye. Another thing to notice here is that we have these front-facing cameras. Uh, now this is new to the MetaQuest 3, but these are front-facing RGB cameras. Uh, these are able to give you this pass-through mode, uh, which means it feeds the outside uh, footage into the camera uh, and then back into the user so that this headset can overlay uh, digital elements on top to give this mixed reality uh, result. Another cool feature for this headset is that you can see that it is completely untethered. Now there is a, uh, a spot where you can plug it into your computer uh, for charging and also to uh, do different, um, different things like link it up to an app that's on your computer. Uh, but for the most part, you can use this headset completely untethered. Uh, there's no battery pack that you have to use. Uh, there's no cable that you need to use. Even all the controllers, uh, which I'll show you in a moment, are completely wireless. So over here are our motion or touch controllers. On these controllers, you can uh, control everything in your game uh, by using these thumbsticks or pressing these buttons and triggers uh, on the bottom of the controller. So now, let's put on our headset and test out an app. It feels like I am at school. <laughs> oh, look at all these people out here. Hey. Hi. You can see my hand. Can see my hands. That is cool. I can clench my fists. Oh, I'm looking in the mirror. Hey. When I'm talking, oh, there's a microphone in here as well. This is, this is just like real life because I am horrible at sport. <sighs> ah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do some archery. Oh yeah. I feel like a pro with this. Beyond entertainment, virtual reality has found compelling application in education. Imagine students exploring ancient civilizations, dissecting virtual organisms, or experiencing historical events firsthand. It's time for your history lesson. 
put on your virtual reality helmets. Mm, excellent. Hello, Lisa. I'm Genghis Khan. You go where I go. Defile what I defile. Eat who I eat. Mm? VR enhances learning by providing immersive, interactive experiences that traditional methods often lack. From classrooms to training simulations, the educational landscape is undergoing a transformative shift. And speaking of education, if you find this video helpful, then please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I make lots of technology videos just like these and your support really helps me continue my work. You can also join our YouTube membership for hundreds of in-depth coding tutorials and weekly advanced lessons. Want to learn how to build a rhythm game in Scratch or calculate compound interest using Python? Just hit the join button below to get started. Now more recently, technology has advanced to the point where VR and the real world can now interact with each other. And this is called mixed reality. The boundaries between the real and virtual worlds are now blurring because mixed reality augments the physical environment with digital elements, offering a more seamless integration of the two worlds. Just like virtual reality, the applications of mixed reality extend far beyond entertainment. Industries such as healthcare, architecture and manufacturing utilize these technologies for simulations design visualization, and remote collaborations. The ability to interact with virtual elements in a real-world context has revolutionized professional workflows. As we stand in the 21st century, virtual reality and mixed reality continue to evolve, from cutting-edge headsets to haptic feedback and artificial intelligence. These technologies are shaping the future of human-computer interaction. The immersive experiences that they offer are not just a form of entertainment, but a gateway to new ways of learning, creating, and connecting. My Robotics Center Creator Academy is dedicated to teaching kids about coding and robotics. And in 2023, 15 of our students used virtual reality to power their science projects in the first LEGO League program. If you are in Australia, why not visit our Eastwood or Chatswood training centers to see how we can support your child or school team. Visit our website at www.creatoracademy.au. That's it from me today. I hope you have enjoyed the show. Have you done anything cool with virtual reality recently? Make sure you write it in the comment section below. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.